Hi guys, this is Nalmar James Gado, and for today's video, let's talk about Newton's Law of Motion and Applications. After a careful study about kinematics in the previous chapter, we are now ready to discuss dynamics, which involves the study, the relation of motion, of the causes affecting the motion. The study of dynamics can be summarized in Newton's Law of Motion formulated by Sir Isaac Newton. Newton's Laws of Motion Number 1. Newton's First Law of Motion states that a body at rest will remain at rest and a body in motion will remain in motion at constant velocity in a straight line if no force acts on it. It is also called Law of Inertia. The statement also indicates two situations, body at rest and body in motion. Inertia is the ability of an object that needs application of force to change the object's motion. For a body at rest means the body will stay to be at rest unless a force is applied to move it. For a body in motion means the body will, will move continuously unless a force is applied to stop it. Example, bodies at rest, we have building and bridges. While in bodies in motion, example, the planetary system, satellite, and rolling ball. Next is the Newton's second law of motion. States that the acceleration of a body is directly proportional to the force acting on it and inversely proportional with the mass of the body. It is also called law of acceleration. When a body is at rest, some other body has to apply a push to make it start moving. When a body is in motion, some other body has to apply a pull to make it come to stop. In both cases, all the situation given has acceleration. Formula, F is equal to MA where F is the force, M, mass of the body, and A, acceleration. Since the second law of motion involves acceleration, so we have related formula for acceleration. We have here, we need to recall V sub F is equal to V sub O plus 80, where V sub F is the final velocity, and V sub O is the initial velocity. A, acceleration, and T is for time. Number 2 is V sub F squared is equal to V sub O squared plus 2AD, where D is the distance or displacement. Number 3, D is equal to V sub O times T plus 1 half of AT squared. We have units here to be considered. System, we have MKS, CGS, and FPS. So recall... Okay, what is MKS? MKS is meter, kilogram, second. CGS, centimeter, gram, second. FPS, foot, pound, second. Okay, for MKS, for mass, we have kilogram, acceleration, meter per second squared, and force, kilogram, meter per second squared, or newton. CGS, we have gram, and acceleration, centimeter per second squared. And force, a gram centimeter per second squared. Or, one dyne. And for FPS system, for mass, we have slug, acceleration, foot per second squared. Force, slug, foot per second squared. Or, pound. And take note, one newton is equal to one kilogram meter per second squared. And 1 dyne is equal to 1 gram centimeter per second squared. Example, problem number 1. A body with mass of 128 grams is acted upon by a net force of 50 dynes. Calculate the acceleration of the body. So, from the formula of F is equal to MA, which is force is equal to mass times acceleration, uh, we need to solve for A because question asks for acceleration and we need to divide both sides by mass okay so therefore a is equal to f over m and force over mass so a is equal to force over mass 
So we have here, uh, what is the force given? We have 50 dynes, okay? So 50 dynes over mass. We, we have 128 grams. And take note, one dyne is equal to one gram centimeter per second squared, okay? And we have 50 dynes. So we have 50 grams centimeter per second squared over over 128 grams okay then cancel the unit grams okay we have 0 0.39 centimeter per second squared so the acceleration of the body is 0 0.39 centimeter per second squared Problem number two, find the force required to increase the velocity of 1.2 kilogram, kilogram mass from 3 meters per second to 8 meters per second over a period of 4 seconds. Given mass, we have 1.2 kilograms, V sub 1, velocity, what, uh, 3 meters per second and V sub 2 8 meters per second and time is 4 seconds so required is force and force is equal to mass times acceleration and as you notice we don't have here the value of A we only have here the value for V sub 1 and V sub 2 and the time. So recall, acceleration is equal to V sub F minus V sub I over time. In this case, our V sub F here is 8 meters per second and V sub I is 3 meters per second. So now let's plug in 8 meters per second minus 3 meters per second over 4 so we have 5 5 over 4 1.2 1.25 meters per second per second or 1.25 meters per second squared so now we have already the value for a, which is 1.25 meters per second squared. Now, let's now plug in 1.25 here in F is equal to MA to find the force. F is equal to mass, which is 1.2 kilograms times acceleration 1.25 meter per second squared. And the product is 1.5 kilogram meter per second squared or 1.5 newtons so therefore the force required is 1.5 newtons problem number three an automobile accelerates uniformly at 8 meters per second squared if the force causing the acceleration is 6 kilonewtons what is the mass of the automobile given we have force is equal to six kilonewtons and take note that one kilonewton is equal to one thousand newtons so therefore six kilonewtons is equivalent to six thousand newtons also we have acceleration is equal to 8 meters per second squared. So from the formula of F is equal to mass times acceleration, we're going to find out what is the value of mass. So therefore, we need to divide both sides by the equation by acceleration. So we have here mass is equal to force over A or force over acceleration. So solution 
m is equal to 6,000 newtons over here 8 meters per second squared. And 6,000 newtons is also equivalent to 6,000 kilogram meter per second squared. Because 1 newton is equal to 1 kilogram meter per second squared over 8 meter per second squared. So cancel the unit m per second squared here. So we have 6,000 divided by 8 is equal to is equal to 750 kilograms therefore the mass of the automobile is 750 kilograms number three the newton's third law of motion states that for every action force there's an equal and opposite reaction force it is also called law of interaction example picture frame hanging on the wall rowing of a boat writing a lecture elevator cable and every footstep and that's all for the newton's laws of motion thank you for watching